Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Thief Deadly Shadows. No one to kill, no one to kill, nothing and nothing and no one. My sentiments exactly, there's nobody here. Just leave me alone. Oh, got the How many times am I going to steal this thing? Well, to be fair, you only stole it once, so. Always the thief, his name always in the prophecies. And where is mine? Am I not just as terrible? Am I not even more fearsome? I must animate my army in more numbers than before. He will not fulfill his destiny. Well, I have a bad habit of fulfilling my destiny, even though I don't want to. Walk away there. I don't know why I just changed to a boss arrow. Doesn't matter. You'll see nothing. I have one artifact. Kamal's journal. My efforts have met with obstacles, hindrances, delays. But there's a benefit to having Garrett alive. He can easily do what I cannot. The thief, the sneak, I know everything. And he knows nothing. My success is assured. It is time for recollection, retrospect. Decades, centuries passed. I remember the day Somersault found the glyph, my glyph, and I knew even I signed the covenant never to touch it, that it would be mine. It called to me, it sang to me. Then it was foolish trusting Bandolin, who shared with us his insight to use the glyphs against the accelerated aging. And it worked better than I hoped. And now I am more than any of them could have imagined. Of the recent past, the child Laurel, whose form I used to hide from the others for so long, sealed her grave with the glyphs so that her skin would be mine for as long as I needed, wanted it. How did she escape? I still am unsure. And Orland, so easily manipulated by the letters, signed with a C. Any other would have unearthed my simple ploy. How easy it has been to remove from the libraries the books that refer to me. And now for the future? I surmise that there are others following my path, my destiny. All they lack is the glyph of transmutation. And when the time comes, I will give it to them, my brethren, and more. I am become glyphs. The time of secrets is almost over. A new age approaches. Well, that answer they say is she used to be human, but whatever she was, Gamal's a monster now. So Gamal was around as a keeper to begin with, and then it doesn't really mention there if she changed her form to something else. But eventually, became, she became Laurel, the little girl from the um, from the orphanage. That hell hole that I finally escaped. Well, thank you, chest. Um, and she was no, she was never Katika, but after Katika died, she continued to send letters. Which honestly, if Katika was dead and he's still receiving letters, how stupid are you to read them? Anyways, final glyph, last of all glyphs. Cross check for other names used. Sentience, crown, where? Check. Catechus notes on prof pro Propheticus? Whatever. Lost beyond time under the above world. Translation incorrect. Recheck source. This is worded very weird. Landmarks. Must be significant. Relationship to artifacts. Aldale Plaza. Bradshaw Monument. Heart. Stone Market proper. Clockwork. Or Clock Tower. Chalice. Crown. Old Quarter near Fort Ironwood. Docks. South Quarter. Fountain Research. Historical significance. Okay, this seems like a lot of places where she's supposed to put certain things, but she doesn't know what they are. Okay, eye exhibit in the Wildstorm Museum. Oh, great. Steal my own eye back. Ancient keepers were present when the city was built. Earliest writings, check oldest history texts. So there is a place on the docks where uh, there's a monument, not really a monument, but whatever, where the first uh, founders were. So that might be on the docks, the one that she didn't know the location for. Why giant? Could it be the streets themselves? Huh? 
I guess we don't have the original text to compare this to, so we can't really cross-reference each sentence with what she, what her line of thought is. Which streets were built already? Which are the oldest landmarks, older districts? Recheck the texts. Cross-check compendium against fail-safe or ancient fail-safe. How did ancient keepers refer to final glyph? She's she's talking about one glyph, but she's also talking about several locations with several artifacts. And maybe it unlocks the location of the final glyph. I don't know. Where are you? I'm gonna five right here for a second in case he comes around the corner. Go get the get the bath. Are you coming around that corner? Yes, you are. Okay. So I'm not gonna die today. Okay, so he doesn't come down this hallway. That's nice. That wasn't very locked. That wasn't locked very well. Close that door! Thank you. Oh, you're a giant. And when he passes by. stuck in your throat there. Alright. On the other side now. Alright, I was already in this room, but I wanted to see. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah, I just didn't go over this far. Is it here? Yes, there is. Alright. Chronicles of Dagar, epilogue. Imagine our great excitement at finding the new glyph. Somersault was the first to discover the secrets, but it wasn't long before our excitement grew to concern, then fear. Fear for the future. Fear that the glyph could fall into the hands of an unbalanced mind. For we keepers are humans, and humans have weaknesses. With no way to destroy it, we enshrined it, sealed it with all manner of glyphs, and have set down these words to speak to the future. Do not heed the call of the glyph of transmutation, a glyph that can be used to steal another's form. Well, Kamal already has that. Do not seek to unlock the seals that hold it. Let it sit forever unused. And most of all, may balance be with us, the four entrusted with the terrible knowledge, task, and burden. Signed, Keepers Dagar, Somersault, Gamal, Vandalin. So one was weak among the four. Well, hello! Why did I just all of a sudden light up? I guess because nothing and you know, no one and nothing and you know, no one. Uh, through here is going to prove to be difficult, isn't it? Hi. Am I turning around before this guy comes back? Thank you. Ah, crap. Ooh, I'm going to fly out of here. Pick something besides the fire. these things are trying to kill me, so I don't care about loot right now. Oh, crap. Look again, look again, find and catch and kill. things really easy. Okay. There's only another one way I can go. Ooh, crap. Okay. I'm getting a little tense now. end 
or is he walking back? He's walking back. But he didn't see me, thank God. Okay. I'd very much like to get a hold of the Glyph of Unbinding, thank you very much. Nothing. Why? There we go. Okay, so I can go just climb right up that. Okay, fair enough. Sometimes I can go over overhangs, sometimes I cannot. But it'd be nice to know when I could and when I couldn't. Alright. So I'm in the balcony. Right up there. That I can see from here. Now let's try to shut up. One wing. Unbinding, please. I thought I told you I don't like being followed. Our separate paths have converged, Garrett. We both seek the same thing. Hmm. I suppose if you were working for Gamal, you would have tried to kill me just now. Tried? I would have succeeded. Look around us, Garrett. This is Gamal's secret library. Here she has been lurking, plotting, and for much longer than just one lifetime. She has used the glyphs to extend her life. And there's more. You've been reading, Artemis. Yes, we are fortunate. In these books, Gamal has documented her plans carefully. But the meaning of that map it's not yet clear to me. Chalice, crown. These things are marked with the names of the artifacts. These books, some have been missing for months, some maybe years. She does not say what the final glyph does, only that she will become undefeatable once she. The South Coda Fountain. Well, now we know what to do with the artifacts once we have them. They fit into those landmarks somehow. She has been gaining knowledge while our ignorance grew. Do the books say where she is now? The remaining treasures they are at the museum. She hopes to gather them all at once. And when she has them, she'll activate this the last of all glyphs. No, no. The books are very clear on that. She intends to destroy it. When she has all the treasures, she'll have the power to do just that. The last glyph is the only thing she fears. Well, that and you, my friend. Destroy it? But that's what Orland and the others told me to do. Half-truths from the Keepers? Why am I not surprised? For the Council to still employ subterfuge. With all that's at stake, I will go to Alden myself and get the truth from him. You should go to the museum and steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal gets to them. Then let us meet back at Stone Market Plaza. And Garrett, if you come face to face with Gamal, you must understand. With her power over glyphs, she is all but indestructible. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Artemis? You know how it feels. Oh crap, uh, they're coming. All right, uh, what did I just do? Ah, yes, the Glyph of Unbinding. I must, wait, is this the same thing that I already read? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm not gonna read this again. Unused, unseen, unsung. Well, I'm gonna sing it loud and I'm gonna sing it proud. This glyph will allow you to strike them all statue minions by blackjacking in them. Ah, uh, 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 light go away, thank you. All right, let's get to the height. On the right side of the ladder, hopefully. I said on the right side of the ladder. Not the left side, but the right side. Oh. Nice. Okay, there's two 
dress statues. What are you looking at? I can probably just climb right out. I wonder if it'll let me. Let's see, are all my objectives complete? Because if they are... Yep, they are. Since they are, I'm gonna do something really stupid and see if I can climb up that chain. Which I don't think I can, because I don't think I can climb anything. But I'm gonna try anyway, because I'm really stupid. So let's F5 here. Climb up on the banister. Float before I climb up on the banister. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we didn't work at all. No. So I'll just quick load. And we will start this again in the next episode.